Hey everybody, I'm back again. Um, my nails have been on for almost, almost three weeks now. Has it been three weeks? I can't even remember. Definitely over two weeks though. Um, yeah, I think it's coming up on three weeks actually. So as you can see, I've had, like these are pretty grown out. My cuticles are really dry. I apologize. I did not um, put any cuticle oil on them lately. But you can see, so I do have acrylics on and you can see how much they've grown out. Um, it has been th about three weeks since I got the acrylics put on, just over three weeks, I think. Um, and this is the first, I normally don't keep my nail polish on this long. You can see like it's color street. It's, uh, I mean, it stays really well for how long this has been on, but you can see all the wear, um, from my typing and from washing dishes and just life in general. So this is going to be a video about how I remove the nail polish from my acrylic nails. Cause somebody asked me, um, so I'm just going to show you how I do it. Um, a lot of people will tell you not to use any kind of nail polish remover. It's better to use, um, one of those, what are they called? Um, like, a one of those drills that just kind of gets it off like at the, at the salon. I don't own one of those, so I have to use nail polish remover. Um, sometimes I do use the 100%, but, um, it's better on your nails. It's better on your acrylics. If you don't, um, use the 100% acetone nail polish remover. So what I have here is just these little pads. They're kind of rough. Um, I get, I found them on Amazon. This is the brand just in case you wanted to know. Um, kind of just rough little squares. So I'm just gonna get that wet. Oh, I probably need two of them. That's really wet. And I just start working on my nail. Now I don't have, um, I don't have plastic tips on my acrylics. The, it's just my regular nail underneath. Um, as you can see, it's taking off the, the top layer, the top color, all that red is coming off. And then there's a bunch of glitter underneath. Glitter, oh my goodness, it is so hard to remove glitter, you guys. This is why I use the 100% acetone remover because it's better on glitter, but you also risk, um, causing your acrylic to lift from your nail bed. We don't want that. Do not want that. As you can see, it does take a really long time to get all this glitter off. You're going to, it's going to take some elbow grease. It's going to take a bit of work. Um, but the thing is you don't want to soak you don't want to soak your nails in nail polish remover if you have acrylics on. If you don't have acrylics, it, you're perfectly fine to get those little clips that clip on and, you know, soak a cotton ball and uh, soak them before you attempt to take it off. But with acrylics, we don't have that luxury. So it's a bit of work. I'm just wiping from the cuticle up to the tip and just wiping it off and I might need to get another one. You might find that it's going to be a little bit gummy and a little sticky feeling. Um, just keep working at it and keep using the remover to get it off. It does eventually come off and it will look the way it did before you put it on. See, look, I'm getting, it's getting better. You just have to keep working at it. This is also why I love Color Street because it does last so long and it doesn't look too bad for being three weeks of nail polish. Um, so you don't have to do this, you know, all the time. You can go two weeks as long as the tips, the ends don't bother you. Okay, I think that's pretty good some hair or fuzz 
All right, there you go. You can see some of the fuzz, but I got most of it off. I do need to work on the edges a little bit, but um, it's smooth. It just, it has that, um, that shiny clear gel on top. I think she actually put a, a really light pink color on top of my acrylics this time. So it's not totally clear. But that's it. Now it's ready to go. So I'm going to do that with all the other nine of my fingernails. Um, and it's ready to have a new um, strip put on. And you can see how much it's grown out. So there is there is a bit of that, um, you know, space. That's my natural nail. All I have to do is just line up the strip right as close as I can to the edge of my skin where my cuticle is and um, it will I'll get you know two more weeks out of my nails um, before I have to go back and get them filled again so hopefully this video helped you um, but yeah it's pretty easy you just have to take a little bit of time but it does come off and it's not sticky or anything and it's they're fine so I will talk to you all later when I'm ready to put on my next set. I will make a new video and show you guys what it looks like uh, with, with the growth. So I hope you join me for the next video and I will talk to you all later. Bye guys.